Terry J. Walker, and right here, this is my superstar, social media sidekick, Mr. Bailey Bob, and we're bringing to you a new show streaming on Mupo Entertainment called the I Am Power Hour, where everyone has a song to sing, a story to tell, and having to follow their passion to have the courage to rise and thrive. Could you be one of our next interviews as we all work together to bring love, light, unity, and connection to one another, and again, to have the courage to rise and thrive. Join me on the I Am Power Hour streaming on Mupo Entertainment. to the I Am Power Hour with me, Terry J. Walker, and my co-host, superstar social media sidekick, Bailey Bob. And we are here today on this beautiful ranch nestled in the hills of Tennessee, and it is educational. It is fabulous. And, Ka and Allie and Kevin, you know what? They've got the courage to rise and thrive and to help animals to do the same. We're gonna get to meet. That's right, you don't wanna miss this. Cindy Lauper, oh, and Tina Turner, Stevie Nicks, and of course, Rockin' Dolly. This is a fabulous show with the courage to rise and thrive, and you don't wanna go away. We'll be right back after this commercial break, but wait, wait, wait. That's right, I got a little hint for you. Yakety yak, don't you talk back, and we'll be right back. <laughs> with the I Am Power Hour with me, Terry J. Walker and Bailey Bob. And I want to introduce to you a wonderful, beautiful person named Allie. And Allie's going to tell us about this beautiful farm that she has and then introduce us to, to some big names. So Allie, what are you doing in Tennessee? Well, we were looking for a yak farm. A so yak farm. We own yaks and lived in Michigan and wanted to find some rolling hills, some mountains, uh, a lot of acreage, tucked in a small town and found this beautiful, beautiful farm and place for our yaks. So most people don't know what a yak is. I didn't know. I had to look it up. Most people do. <laughs> they are, and most people think of no beds, Tibetan yaks. Uh, we are, as far as we know, the only yak farm here in Tennessee. There is one in Kentucky, one in Ohio that are breeders of yaks. A yak looks like a sheepdog and a buffalo had a baby. Oh, wow. Uh, but super fun, all full of different personalities, fluffy tails like a horse, they prance around. I cannot wait to show you, they're so much fun. But they also, we got them started out as a pasture pet, looking for some livestock, but cows kind of stink, they're a little messy. Yaks don't smell, their poop doesn't smell, they don't smell. No poop. No, it, so that was one of the first things. They eat a third less than cows do. They are a sustainable animal. They produce the less methane of any cow. So we were like, oh, I wanna go see a yak. Went to go see them, um, this long, fluffy, just craziness of what, it's, there's, there's really nothing else like it. So we were like, oh, we just want a yak or two. They're herd animals, so we had to get two. And then after doing a lot of research, uh, we have come to find out that yaks are becoming endangered. Uh, people 
people are using them for yak meat, which goes for really high dollars. Um, and that's not our style. And also the fiber. So when we first got yaks, they were a very fine pasture pet, easy on the eyes, not kind of scary like a horse, but just tons of personality. And then you get a fiber, a wool, like you would a sheep or an alpaca, but you don't shave them, we comb them. And then it's softer, as soft as cashmere, warmer than wool, doesn't itch like wool, doesn't smell, bacteria free, moisture wicking, so it's like the perfect wool. But it's a luxury fiber, a luxury wool, because they're so rare. Well now people are breeding them with cows to get a lighter fiber, a lighter wool, so they're becoming endangered. So now we became uh, ambassadors of yaks, of the full, the full, like full-blooded, full-pedigree yaks and breeding yaks. So today I will take you around the farm, around the house, uh, show you our bull, some of the ladies that we have, uh, and some of the babies that we have. But they're all full-pedigree, so they are the color of a buffalo. They all have humps. They oh, grunt like a buffalo. They have fluffy tails like a horse, uh, but very similarities with a buffalo, but in this cute, smaller, docile, sweet animal. I cannot wait to show you. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait to see them. Yes. I am looking so forward to this, and I'll have to tell you too, <clears throat> you are doing some other things and having a store with your yes. yak. We do. Uh, we've been here a year and a month. Uh, we also do a rescue program for many horses. We get two seniors that are from a rescue shelter that were neglected or in a criminal or a, a, a cruelty case, and nobody wants the seniors. So we have a 26 year old and a 21 year old, the sweetest little ponies. We'll keep them, give them their best life. They, you'll see, they have a great life. Uh, and then we'll keep them and then we'll go back and get two more and then we just cycle through and give them their best life and then rescue two older seniors. Wow, and I am a horse lover from way back. I grew up on horses. Nice. So I can't wait to meet the miniature horses. Now the horses names are Cindy Lopper and Tina Turner. Cindy you will Lopper. see they are adorable, absolutely adorable. We also do, I do a farm mentorship here. So I wanted to offer our place, our home, we have five children that are older and gone, no grandbabies yet. So I wanted to offer a mentorship for a young man, like a work study, um, and we found the perfect fit. He is actually helping his neighbor move today, but he's 15, he's special needs, he lives in Rockwood, uh, he lives with his grandma, he is the biggest help, so he'll be here as long as he wants to be here. Wow. And then I'll do a mentorship. He's here three days a week. So wow. um, five hours a day. He brings his bologna and mayonnaise sandwich with me <laughs> every day. The other day it was two because he said he worked too hard. He needed two. Oh. <laughs> uh, he's adorable. He helps. He had four years of equine therapy, so he's really familiar with the horses. Obviously, has never seen a yak. Fell in love with them. Oh wow! So we halter train all of our smaller yaks. Um, it helps with their docileness. It helps with while well, we have them on a halter that they get used to being around people. Um, they like scratches. But if they're scared of you, they don't even know how to accept it. So we halter train them and you can walk them around. And then when we have clients, they get this halter train, like a least trained animal that that's, loves hands-on. So we halter, so he's helping me halter train the little ones. Um, he cleans up some compost. Uh, but like I said, what's great about the yak too, it doesn't smell. Right. And we don't have to clean any of it. We just rake it once a week. It's mm -hmm. such a great fertilizer. We just put it back in the pastures that they're in. Um, so he doesn't have to do a lot of dirty work. Uh, but he's been great. So we have that going on. Um, we have the shelter with the mini horses. And we're actually starting to look into... It was last night. We were looking online. Found our first yak for sale in this area. Not seeing any other yaks. A gentleman paid a lot of money for a crossbreed mixed with a cow, which was very scary to him and his son. 
uh, and he needs to get rid of it ASAP. So it's not full bread, it's not what we do, but I kind of want to lean over to these people that are getting stuck in exotic sales and they think yaks are so docile and sweet, but they are when you have a full pedigree, when right. you have a bloodline and you're not breeding that wildness, you're not breeding that untameness. And he said they're pretty scared of this yak and it's only about 600 pounds. Oh, and it's a bull and they get up to 1,600 pounds. So I'm, I'm thinking about not really rescuing a couple of them, but trying to get the word out to everyone about yaks. They're sustainable, they're usefulness with the fiber, they're playfulness, but and not people getting taken advantage of like this man does. Oh wow. And, and education is the key. And yes. I know you do tours here. Yes. And you're doing some educational tours. Plus you have a store where you've got the people in the local area that are actually making goods and, and gifts and things like that from Yak. Yes. And we're going to get to see that too. And I am so excited about showing you this and introducing you to the miniature horses for the rescue along with the Yaks. And we're just going to have a wonderful time today. So you stay tuned because we're going to be right back. And we're going to go see the yaks and the mini horses. I'll see you soon. Tina Turner, and of course, my dear friend Allie at DeepDrawYaks.com. Tell me a little bit about these uh, two beautiful miniature horses. So these are the two rescues. She is a paint. She is a Rowan. This is Tina Turner. This is Cindy Lopper. Cindy Lopper here is 26 years old. Uh, Tina is 21. They've always been together. Uh, they were from a neglect case. Uh, we've had them here since October and we will keep them. They are living their best life. They go out every day, still run around like they're young little champs. And if you can't tell which one's Tina Turner, she has the Tina Turner cute hair. <laughs> And then little Cindy Lopper here. They are both so sweet, love the kids. The kids, you see where their hair's been braided. The kids just love them. They prance around with them, braid their hair. That's sweetheart. And they sure are a whole lot of fun. I just love horses anyway. And then these minis are just absolutely fantastic and so friendly and ready to rock and roll with us. They love their treats too, obviously. <laughs> oh, yes. So, all right, we're gonna go meet some yaks and you wanna stay tuned for this. back to the I Am Power Hour and I am here with Allie and Rockin' Dolly. And Rockin' Dolly is one of the sweetest yaks you're ever going to meet. And she just loves. Tell me about her tongue and her snout and her bottom teeth. Allie. So Rockin' Dolly is full grown. She's about 600 pounds. This is as big as as the females were get. She's an imperative which means all brown. Uh, which is full blood, full bred. She has a white nose, which is a native, which is unusual, which makes her face stand out a little cuter. Ooh. Yaks have fluffy tails, like super fluffy tails, but she's actually a golden. She's only in the top 10% of all yaks, uh, which means when we comb her in the spring, 
we get a very light gray color and that's a golden so when we comb them in the spring all this fluff stays all this loveliness stays and we get an undercoat which is their under fiber which is their wool to be scratched on their hind ends because their horns only go to about right here so they like to be scratched where they can't reach with their horns some people pull yaks which means they remove their horns which is awful because they are a wool animal they have three layers of fiber they itch so it's not nice to remove their horns because that's how they itch and scratch their tongues are black if they are dark pigment her tongue is black and it's rough just like a cat Go. Can I show them your pretty face? Can I show them your pretty face? Come here. more information about the yaks yeah, and today. if you're in the rolling hills of Tennessee you might want to come and get an education about yaks and get a tour and a visit and tell Rock and Dolly if you come that I sent you and we'll be right back after this commercial. We have about 24 free-ranging chickens. I am all about pasture-raised uh, free-range. A lot of people who buy eggs, they make sure they're cage-free. Ours don't have a cage. They sleep in a coop. They can go anywhere within the 50 acres that we have, and most of them do. Right here, we have some, we have black ones, gray ones, we have barred rocks, we have rolled out and reds. Um, and with each chicken, you get a different color egg. So when we sell our fresh eggs, everyone asks well, like, why they're different colors. Because in the store, you either have a white egg or a brown egg. But depending on your type of chicken, you'll have a different color egg. So we have seven species of chicken, so we have seven different color of brown eggs. We don't have any Leghorns, we don't have any white eggs. But in the store, basically, they only use three species of chickens, and that's to make sure your eggs are all the same color. Uh, we raise healthy chickens. They sleep in the coop. Generally, our rooster, uh, he takes care of his ladies. Um, he is the first one in at night in his coop every night, and he is the last one out every morning. I thought he was being a gentleman. Uh, Kevin thinks he's just being safe and letting them get attacked by all the predators first. But every night he's the first one in the coop. He's the last one out. We had pegs a few months ago, so now it's a search and find with about 24 eggs each day. Uh, most of them are in the coop, which we haven't collected today, so there'll probably be about 12 to 15 in the coop. Uh, we get a couple in our garden beds, we get a couple in the hay feeders, and then I hope you can find General Lee. Like I said, they're free range and they're everywhere, but he's an absolutely beautiful rooster. He was just here, but took off, uh, but hopefully he'll come back.
I am Power Hour, and I'm here with my buddy and good friend Allie with Yakety Yak, Don't Talk Back. And look, Allie provided a yak milk chew bone for Bailey, and he is loving, loving, loving it. And that's yak milk, correct? It is. So with yak milk, with yaks, yak meat sells about $10 to $60 a pound. Yeah. Um, and with the yak milk, super high in amino acids and protein. They don't smell, so most dog chews smell. There is no odor. They last forever. So super healthy, organic, just three ingredients. And oh, we wow. make them here with the yak milk. So we take the yak milk, mix a little lime juice and salt just to get it to curdle. Smush all the juice out, dehydrate it, and then it'll be sitting there good forever. We comb the yaks. This is one ounce of yak fiber. Smell, no smell. Wow. It doesn't smell. It is as has the same microns as cashmere. It is warmer than wool, doesn't itch like wool. So people that have a wool allergy can actually wear yak. We get tons of hunters, fishermen, uh, and everywhere that just wants a soft, comfy slipper sock. I have on yak socks today. I wear mine every day. Uh, because they are bacteria free, you can wear the socks for weeks and months and not wash them. Oh Sounds my gross, goodness. but <laughs> it's kind of practical. Uh, you don't dry it because it's a fine wool. But this is what we comb out. This is an ounce. We get about two pounds per animal of fiber. So we fill up a big U-Haul truck full of fiber, send it off, and when we send it off, we get socks, mittens, gloves, blankets. I do all the felting, so we I do all the felting for like little knickknacks, little cat toys, uh, we do trivets, and then everything else in the store is made by folks here in Crossville. from magnets to fine yak wool mittens to beautiful throws that are used on like a lap throw. They're used for yoga. I keep mine in my truck because my honey keeps me too cold. these cute mugs that are made here in Crossville. Yeah. He is a bus driver here mm -hmm. and a big burly guy. You would not think that he'd be hand painting yaks, <laughs> but he hand paints them, writes Crossville. It's just adorable. Those we have a young gal nice. that makes little clay yaks. Oh, those are so cute. And then we have the wool, we have felted yak. So it's everything yak. We just spread the yak love to everyone. socks. Those These are, just... are the cutest things ever. Check this out. And I'm going to get some today myself, but also we've got these socks. And a friend of mine was showing me, she had these Those on. Those are the best. And she said they are very warm, warm. and they are soft. It's Super not like soft. a wool, you know, the prickly wool. It's These are itchy, just so soft. And they soft. don't get wet. They're moisture wicking, so your socks are not going to be wet. Wow. And then, and then, so yaks don't smell. Their poo doesn't smell. They are bacteria free. They are disease resistant. They have easy bursts. Um, it's like the perfect pasture pet to have, like if you wanted livestock. Yeah. These are great. And look, these are so cute too. Who makes these? There is a gal here. Her name is Rachel, and she does the wool felted yaks. 
So she came, everyone has come out to see the yaks, fell in love, and she was like, oh, can I make you a yak? And I'm like, just sell them in the store. Uh -huh. So what started little has become a bit of the small town and the community all making little yak stuff. Oh, that is so cute. And two, um, you take donations for yak yes. treats and foods to yes. help with the yaks? So we do. So we spend about hundred bucks a week on treats uh -huh. for everyone to come so we do tours we do homeschool ch church groups my passion is the elderly so I had my oldest visitor yesterday she was 97 oh, wow. her name is Ruth she lives in Fairfield Blade mm -hmm. so I'm able to get them straight out of their car and they don't need to be in a wheelchair put them in the side-by-side -side. they can drive around I take them to see the homestead I take them all through the 50 acres they go and see all the yaks and we watch the yaks run. They feed them the treats. It's for like two hours. It's a breath of fresh air for them. That's oh, my wow. passion. Oh, I love it. Because, I love it. Yes. And, and absolutely, again, one more time for that website. If you want to donate for the yaks, if you want to just look and check out things that Allie's got in her store to maybe ship out to you, those socks or some of the bird nest feeders and all of the other things that she has available, you definitely want to go to deepdrawyaks.com. Uh, you can go to the Etsy store too at Deep, at Deep Draw Yak Ranch. All of our t-shirts are even made here in town. Wow. So everything that's here that's even published is made locally. It's just given back to the community. And I know we've only been here a year and a month. But I know it's just going to grow with the community involved and falling in love with the yaks. That it is. I've already fallen in love and I can't wait till we take a little trip out down the Mississippi, if you will. But we're going to take a little trip out on the ranch and get out with the rest of the herd. And so we'll see you soon. You stay tuned right after this commercial. We'll be back.
Power Hour today with my good friend here, Allie, and of course my co-host, Bailey Bob. And I'm here to tell you, we're going to go have a little yakety yak time. So y'all come back now and here, and don't forget, www.eatdrawyaks.com. And I'll see you again soon on the I Am Power Hour.